Prime Minister Justin Trudeau meeting with U.S. President-elect Donald Trump in Florida following Trump's threat to place puni punitive tariffs on Canadian products. Now, Trudeau had dinner with Trump at his Mar-a-Lago estate. Public Safety Minister Dominique Leblanc and the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff were also there. Now, Trump was joined by some of his Cabinet Post nominees, and this meeting comes after Trump had warned that he would place a 25 percent tariff on Canadian imports if Ottawa doesn't do more to present, prevent migrants and drugs from crossing the border into the United States. CB24 spoke with CTV political commentator Scott Reed today about the significance of Trudeau's trip down south. Trudeau is with President-elect Trump. He's going to be making the case for Canada. The idea that he's sitting on his laurels, that he's not doing anything, it's hard to argue that any longer. And the fact that, you know, he doesn't have leverage, the suggestion that he doesn't have leverage, that he can't uh, invoke the president's attention, that doesn't seem very valid. Again, none of this means that all of our problems are going to be wiped away. Um, but it's an encouraging sign of engagement. And, you know, my hope is that it's an encouraging sign that Donald Trump, in truth, does view Mexico and Canada differently and will treat us on substan uh, substantially separate paths. Now, before there was a statement from the Prime Minister's office, Trudeau's motorcade was spotted at Mar-a-Lago. Public Safety Minister LeBlanc also there and... We have more from premiers weighing in as well on the meeting. We got something from Premier Doug Ford. This statement says, in part, we need now the federal government to show us how they'll honor their commitment to all premiers to make our border more secure. Protecting Canadian jobs is going to take an all-hands-on-deck Team Canada approach.